Aries, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David, and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of December 2022. This is going to be for any Aries looking for any guidance and messages in their daily love lives. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit notifications for any new updates. Aries, this is going to be for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in your charts. If you have Aries there, okay, cross watchers, always welcome here. Don't forget, uh, roles can always, and energies can always be reversed. So we're going to start off with one card. I just have one pop up for you right now, Aries. And your card for the month of December will be chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. Chemistry. For a lot of you, you have someone you're already into. This could be someone who's also into you back. There could be a lot of sexual chemistry energy between the two of you. Maybe flirtatious energy as well. For others, you're going to meet somebody new here, okay? So let's find out what we need to know here for you, Aries. I'm going to draw some cards here from the Rider Waite. This is a new version that we're using. And of course, we're going to get some clarifiers later if needed and some Oracle cards too, okay? So let's find out what we need to know for Aries for the month of December. Universe, let's get a clear message for Aries, please. For Aries. Okay, we're going to do three for past, present, and future uh, each, and then we're going to do one card, the bottom of the deck for your overall energy, okay? So starting off with the strength card in reverse, then we have the four of cups, followed by the death card. Okay, very interesting. Next, we have the lover's card for present energy followed by the Four of Pentacles in reverse, followed by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm, very interesting. In the future energies, we have for you the Queen of Wands in reverse. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Three of Pentacles. Overall energy underneath for the reading is the Hierophant card. Strong Taurus energy coming through here with the Hierophant for you. Could be a Taurus for some of you you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. So this energy for the Hierophant for a lot of you could be you're experiencing some sort of uh, higher connection here. So a lot of you have put a lot of work into something. Maybe you have uh, feel this person meets a lot of your values. This person conforms to the same behaviors as you. Maybe you've met in a uh, group or workplace together. This person could have also been married in the past or together with somebody else here. I'm getting for you that there's a connection that's very deep that you both feel, okay? For your past energy, we start off with the Strength card, Four of Cups, and the Death card. So... A lot of you with the death card, I'm going to start with that first because it is something tragic that you've been through, some change, something major has changed within you. So whether or not you uh, were broken off from a relationship here in your past, I'm getting here with the strength card, could be Leo you're dealing with and the four of cups. Somebody didn't reciprocate, somebody didn't meet you halfway here. Someone didn't love somebody back or the feelings, yes, weren't reciprocated. And there was an ending here. Separation. And that led to new beginnings. Moving into your present energy, we have the lover's card. Strong represented by Gemini here, okay? Four of pentacles in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse. So there could be issues with money here and stability that are challenging for you right now. I'm getting for a lot of you, you're spending a lot of money on things. So it could be dates, could be outfits, could be things to make you feel better, look better. You may be paying for a lot of shows or tickets or something I'm getting for some of you. And this is all in your search for love. And for a lot of you Aries, there's somebody here you're putting energy into. There could be multiple people. But you feel a connection here with someone. You feel that you're 
energies really align here with the lover's card. I don't know if you've already told this person or if they know about it, about it already, but the connection's definitely there. And this is something that you're feeling for real, okay? The universe is trying to tell you it's a real connection. And so some of you may be challenged here with money. Some of you may find that money is an issue here. You're trying to keep up perhaps. Stability could be challenged here. Some of you may be going through a job loss as well or uh, some sort of downgrade in your life right now. Things are a little bit up and down here for you, okay? Moving on. Future energies. Queen of Wands in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. You may find yourself having to deal with somebody here. Queen of Wands energy in reverse. Makes me feel as if someone's causing a block for you. Coming up here in the future. Or maybe this person is that you're working on or connected to. Somehow they drop off or they remove themselves from the situation from you, you may feel a bit of pullback here with them. There could be fear, could be doubt. They may be busy uh, entertaining somebody else. Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're waiting for this person still. You've been waiting for a while now. They could be attracted to someone else or with someone else. There's definitely a connection though, and you're putting in the work, or at least you're moving or treading slowly. This is something you see is going to be a work in progress for you. Three of Pentacles, you could be working together. You could be doing a project together. You could be collaborating on something. You may ask for help from this individual or likewise. And that's your sign right now about the chemistry between the two of you. So I don't know the reasons why about this Queen of Wands is here in reverse, but we'll definitely get clarifiers for it for you, Aries. Let's find out more about some more of these cards. I'm going to start off with the Four of Cups in Reverse. Universe, tell me more about past energies. What is this Four of Cups in Reverse about? Okay. Four of Cups, please. Uh, ah. Okay. So, Four of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. The Magician. The Two of Wands. Okay, Seven of Swords means this the reason why you two couldn't figure something out here in the past is because there was deception and lies. Someone was hiding something. Someone didn't tell the truth. Someone didn't want to admit the truth even for some that this relationship wasn't going to work out. Magician, Two of Wands. These two cards are you manifesting your way out of this relationship or from this hold from this previous person that you were tied to or linked to, okay? And it may have been uh, your motivation here to get out of it. There may be a reason why. Maybe there is someone new coming in that you saw here. Many new offers coming in here. I'm seeing you getting excited about these new people. So you were expecting this change to happen for you, okay? Let's find out more about the death card for you. Tell me more about this change though. What is going on here for Aries? Universe, tell me more about the death card here for Aries, please. Okay. Death card for Aries. Here we go. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. The Three of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely energy of you planning for something soon, but not without some hiccups here. You had some hiccups along the way. Maybe uh, communication was cut off and someone was really hurt here. Someone tried to contact the other person, but someone blocked them. There were feelings involved here. Definitely, definitely difficult uh, for whoever this is, for you and for them. But like I said, 
two of wands preparing for this and now embarking and looking forward to these new uh, potential uh, love lovers for you, okay? What's coming up for you in the present energy, please? Let's find out about the lover's card here. Tell me more about this person, this connection. Universe, tell me about the lover's card, please, for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Okay. So, we have the sun card. Wow. Ace of Wands in reverse. And also clarified by the Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. Someone from your past is coming back to you, Aries. This is somebody you've been really attracted to or have loved for a while now or had feelings for, but you've never ever been able to connect. There was some sort of block or false start here. The two of you never got to connect before. Someone was scared. Someone, it wasn't the right time for them. You seem to know this person. So this is for whoever this is, Aries, that resonates with. If you're dealing with someone here from your past now, a different person here, this person is coming back to you, okay? But they're afraid or you're afraid to contact them. So let's find out about the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about this situation here. Four of Pentacles in reverse, please. What is Aries holding back? Is it money? Is it finance? What is it? Let's find out. Okay. Clarified by the King of Wands. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah. You weren't paying attention to certain things about giving because you were passionate about something and you felt like you were just going to do it and worry about the money later. Some of you have purchased things on cards here, going out, trying to make your best self here, but at the same time losing um, focus about your responsibilities, finances, giving too much energy here. Not really seeing the big picture. For some of you, it may mean that you don't need to do all these things and you're not realizing that, okay? Because this person cares about you regardless of how you show up to them. So. Let's find out about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles, please, for Aries. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, please, for Aries. Ten of Swords in reverse. The Fool card in reverse. Page of Wands. Hmm. Some sort of ending here, coming to an end. There could have been financial loss here, investments loss of work here, but a healing energy, but someone not wanting to move forward yet. Page of Wands, some sort of idea. Some of you feel like right now, all you care about is relationships and sex and flirtate, flirting energy here. Some of you don't want to get this new opportunity or some of you are sacrificing something and it pains you to do so, but you know why you're doing it, and it's because of love. So some of you aren't really focused on your career life right now, or some of that energy is being drawn away from that right now for some of you. I'm seeing this as your present energy, so something that you may be doing right now it could be a slower period in your life here where things are going to be a little bit slower here at your work or at your business, and so, there's not many new challenges you can really take on there in that sense. So you've come to a bit of a uh, halt here and you're gonna focus more on love and relationships and intimacy and passion, okay? So having fun, I guess. Let's find out about this Queen of Wands in reverse for you. Universe, Queen of Wands in reverse, please. Tell me more. Two of Pentacles, someone's juggling with a decision. Justice, someone's getting what they deserve, cause and effect. Ace of Cups in regards to love. Hmm. Someone. This Queen of Wands energy that I saw is a hesitant, hesitancy energy with the uh, Two of Pentacles here. It is about juggling a decision here, whether or not they should come forward here. 
But I'm getting here, someone's going to get what they want. Someone's going to get what they deserve. Could definitely be your energy. When it comes to love, new beginnings, new relationships. And the way out is with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady. No rushing, but realizing the attraction and the energy is there and there's chemistry. So let's find out more about the, you know, about the Knight of Pentacles. Let's find out more about the Three of Pentacles for you, okay? And then we'll draw some oracle cards. Universe, tell me more about the Three of Pentacles, please, for future energies. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Clarified by the Four of Pentacles again. The high here fit in reverse now. And the Ten of Pentacles, see? So you're going to have some sort of new offer here, new opportunity, or some of you may be saving or doing something that's non-traditional here with the here fit in reverse. Something you didn't think about before that was is very unique and different from your style. Getting out of your comfort zone and somehow bringing stability in your life, making some sort of decision that's going to bring you more stability, whether it be at home or at work or in relationships. Taking a different alternative route or idea and holding on to that and actually pursuing it, but also being cautious, okay? So that is what is involved here with another individual. Whatever it is that you're doing here, you're working towards something, you're building things, and you're doing it in a non-traditional manner. Okay, so let's find out more. I'm going to get some hidden truth here for you first. Universe, let's find out the hidden truth here for Aries, please. For the month of December, what does Aries need to know? Tell me a hidden truth, please, for Aries. What does Aries need to know, please? Okay. So, Aries, we have, you came closer than anyone. This could be the message from your current person that you're dealing with. Perhaps you had a connection before from your past. But things never transcended into anything. And so a lot of you realize there is potential here with this person. And they're coming back to you. And they have feelings for you. Let's find out uh, some messages of love here for you as well. Universe, tell me a bit more for Aries, please. Let's find out more for Aries for uh, month of December, please. What does this person want to tell Aries, please? What does this person want to tell Aries? Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So that could be love, definitely. Or it could be in your future energy when it comes to committing to some sort of uh, project here or person. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. So something to look out for here. Red flags could be within your... Uh, what you, how you're dealing with someone here. Not realizing something. Focusing too much on uh, your love life and not in other uh, areas of your life and seeing things kind of uh, break down so you don't want to let things go too much in certain areas of your life. Try to balance yourself, okay? So you'll know when the warning signs come along here. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. That's definitely the energy of this old person in your life here. And of course, that's why you made those changes. They didn't love you back, and so they weren't your person. And as much as you'd like to hold them, on to them, there's a new person coming in from your past. Could be Gemini, could be Leo, but it's going to be your decision here, I'm assuming. Your decision to be with this person, your decision to take an offer here, to make things right, whatever it is. Uh, I do wish you the best here, Aries. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other videos coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and notifications for any new updates. Really appreciate you being here till the end, Aries. Uh, we'll see you again soon and bye for now.